Hi YouTube family, welcome into today's video, which is September monthly favorites. I know everybody says, I can't believe how fast this month went by, but for me, it seems like I was just doing August monthly favorites. It has been a really busy month, we're moving. That's why there's no background, that's why it looks a little dark, it looks a little yellow because my walls back there are yellow and my background is gone now. But I wanted to make sure that I pre-filmed for you guys so that you had the videos coming out. The other thing I'm excited about is I did get to try a lot of new makeup and skincare hair care this month, and I am really excited to be bringing you those things too. So we are gonna get right into the products so we don't take too much time because I got a lot to talk about. The first thing that I wanna talk about is a new one from Kenra. This is their Perfect Medium Spray. It's medium hold and it's 13. Now my holy grail is the 25. You guys talk about that all the time, but this was new and I wanted something that could go underneath the hair like when I was doing a look where I needed a lot of body or wanted, you know, a lot of um, back combing or something like that. And so I wanted to be able to have one that I liked that really could fit my style as far as, you know, giving a lot of body underneath and kind of just holding without stiffness underneath. And this really does the job good. So I'm Another really enjoying for this. my hair. I cannot believe that I got away from this. Okay, this is the It's a Tan Miracle Leave-In. This one has keratin in it. But I was talking to my mom and she was saying, my hair's so dry, what am I gonna do? And I was telling her about this product. I didn't even have it then because I try so many different things, right? And it was buy one, get one free. And if you guys have a smart style in your Walmart, it's usually always that. So anyway, I bought this one with one for my mom. I'm like, why? Why in the world did I ever stop using this stuff? It's a 10, it's so good. So the reason that it's called 10 is because it's supposed to have 10 benefits and it's, it protects against heat, it has natural keratin, which is strengthening to your hair and it protects the natural keratin that's already in your hair defrizzes, adds shine, strengthens hair, seals the cuticle for extra silky hair, um, increase, increases styling and manageability. Um, it's good for all hair types. I started using it for the thermal protectant of keeping your hair from getting, you know, the damages of heat when you curl it. So I'm so glad that I've gone back to that. The other one I think I talked about in a video this month about hair care products that I love. But this one I had just gotten and I was gonna report back to you guys. Oh man. This is Lange, Lange, something like that, La Lange, something like that. Anyway, this is the thicket cream from them. This cream is so good if you have fine limp hair and you find that you don't have enough body or your hair does not feel thick enough, just a tiny amount, I mean like half a dime size, I use twice. So I'll put a half a dime size in my hand, rub it through my fingers, and then go through you know the top of my hair. And then I'll do another half a dime size through the length of my hair. And you guys, this makes my hair feel so thick and so lovely. And I really, really like this. Plus I got a bunch of their other products from the brand and I really am enjoying all of those too. So, so much fun. Okay, this one is not a beauty care item or you know makeup, but this is from now. This is called their True Calm Neurotransmitter Support Promotes Relaxed Mood Amino Acid Blend with B Vitamins and Valerian Root. Okay, and it, it's vegan capsules. Okay, you guys, so you guys all know that I have nerve problems, had them for years and years, um, and I also have a palsy in my hands. When I feel myself getting so out of control that I can't handle anything more, there's not a medication that they've given me that really works well, but True Calm will help me calm down enough that I can either, you know, relax and, you know, go to bed or if I'm in a really bad panic attack, it calms me enough to be able to handle that panic attack. And my son also has started taking this on nights when his, he feels like his mind is racing and he can't get calmed down. It's really good for that. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a pharmacist, I'm not in the healthcare industry. So if you take medications, you might wanna talk to your pharmacist and see if this is okay to do it because I know that sometimes valerian root does not mix well with antidepressants. Mine was fine when I talked to him. So so make sure you talk to um, a doctor or somebody like that before you start self-medicating with herbs. So anyway, that's, I just have to disclaimer that kind of stuff, you know? I don't want anybody to get sick from something I'm saying. Okay, this I talked about 
just barely. This is from Thank You Farmer. This is the Miracle Age Repair Toner for all skin types. This is so good, you guys. I talked about it and I'll link the video that I just barely talked about it in. This is one of my um, finds for the month that I found through Penn Smith Skin Care. I will also link her channel below because I just love that girl. She's a wealth of knowledge for anything, any facial thing whatsoever, skincare, doing facials, doing fillers, all that kind of stuff. Penny knows her stuff. So I have been loving this stuff. This is my new replacement for my buffet. And this stuff I feel like is doing a really great job of evening and brightening and really helping the tone of my face. And it feels silky on the skin. It melts into the skin. It doesn't add an extra layer. I have just really been enjoying this. And this big, huge bottle, which is about five ounces, is hardly pennies compared to even the most inexpensive item that you can buy as a serum. You know, the buffet is the one that I love and it's about $14 for one ounce. This is five ounces and I think it's $27 for this bottle. So you do the comparison, it's really worth it. I love it. Okay, back to hair care really quick. You guys, I've been loving this curling iron and I did a tutorial for you guys where I showed you how I, got, I get my beachy waves. No waves today, guys, <laughs> just straight hair. <laughs> but this is such a good curling iron. It's the ceramic, ionic ceramic tourmaline, I think. Anyway, basically what it does is it protects your hair as it curls. And I love that about the thing. It doesn't, you know, cause extra damage. Of course, when you're using heat, you're gonna have some damage no matter what, but the eye, it will pull the ions and make your hair even look silkier and shinier than it already is. And I really do love this. Uh, and when I curl my hair, I love the one inch. That's what this one is, it's a one inch. The one thing that I will say that I don't like about it is that it doesn't have an automatic turn off, which I, sometimes leave my curling irons on and then I'll call my son, oh my gosh, I love my curling iron on, will you please go check it out? <laughs> anyway, I wish that it did have that, but other than that, this is the perfect curling iron hot tools. I know I didn't say that. I also told you guys in my skincare routine that I was trying out other sunblocks. I found it, you guys, this is so good. This is from Misha and I got it on Amazon and it's called the All Around Safe Block Essence Sun Milk. 50 SPF. This one, same thing as the toner that I just showed you. It melts into the skin so quickly. It's not like you've got an extra layer on your skin. And I am just really pleased with this and I love how it's performing underneath my makeup. So if you've been wanting a new sunscreen, looking for a sunscreen that really is one that's high performance under makeup and it makes no difference whatsoever, I would recommend this one. I've been using it and I love it. I want to tell you guys that I tried so many foundations lately, but my standout is the new Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution. They sent me ones after I had already bought my own <laughs> And I'm glad they did because I had bought um, C6 thinking that, you know, it's for light skin and it's a neutral, but C7 is a better color for me and they sent that to me. So I was so happy. And I'm like, if you mix these two together and you put the little, a little tiny bit of the LA Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment, which is the blue. And the reason that it's blue is to help if you have too much yellow in your foundation. This, this helps put it into more of a cool tone, which I am like on the cool tone side, neutral to cool tone. So this was fun for me to get and really help with all of my foundations that I felt like, oh, I'm stuck with this foundation now because it's just too warm for me. It's just too on the orange side or it's too on the yellow side for me, but this stuff, wow. Anyway, I digress. Back to this foundation. It wears all day. It creates a beautiful finish. I have both of them on today, concealer and foundation. And I feel like even though I do have lines, I do have wrinkles, it doesn't accentuate any of those and it's hydrating so it's not drying out and showing a bunch of texture. And so yeah, I've been really enjoying that this month. I also really enjoyed the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. You guys, I really like having a full coverage foundation because I do have a lot of discoloration from scarring and from redness. But so I like when a full coverage doesn't feel like foundation and I feel like that with the Ofra. And I really do feel like it is long wearing. It lasts on me the whole, the whole entire day. I've been wearing it in a couple of videos and I just really liked it. Now I will say that one day 
I wore this during the month and it oxidized on me and I was like, what's going on? And then I realized that I was trying a different primer under it. So the primer was the culprit on that because the next day it was fine. So not sure about that one. I also tried the NYX Born to Glow. Love this stuff, you guys. It says Naturally Radiant Foundation and it is. It is a beautiful foundation if you're wanting that radiant look. So you're not really wanting a matte look. You're not really wanting a satin look. You're wanting more of a glowy, dewy look. This is really good. It's a, it's a good one. So on aging dry skin, it might be really good for you to try. I don't know if you're oily skin, if this one will work or not. I haven't heard many reviews about it, but I am enjoying it. It is fairly full coverage. I will say that it leans more towards the medium coverage, but it is buildable without being, you know, without showing more texture or anything like that. So really enjoyed this one too. And wear time on that one was good as well. An oddball thing that I want to talk about you guys. This I picked up at Sally Beauty. This is for your nail polishes. This is Beauty Secrets Nail Polish Thinner. You put a couple of drops in this in an old nail polish and it performs just like it's brand new. So if you have a half a bottle, cause that's where I get to about the point where I'm thinking, this needs thrown out. It's just too old. It's getting goopy. You know, it's getting too thick. It needs thrown out. And then I put a few drops of this in there and it's just back to a beautiful nail polish. And I love that about it. So I think it was only a few dollars, maybe, maybe $5, but that's a great, Great item if you guys are ones that paint your nails yourself all the time. Also to mention nails, you guys almost always ask me what the color is on my nails. And I think it's because I don't just wear just one color on my nails. I always have a color on my nails that has kind of a shift to it in its you know, either it is duochrome or something like that. That's because I wear a lot of toppers. I, I'm all about the bling. I'm all about the sparkle. I'm all about the shimmer. I love that kind of thing. So this nail polish from Zoya is called Leia, L-E-I-A, and it is the most pretty topper. If you guys have never tried Zoya nail polishes before, they're so good. I just about every single time you guys ask me what I'm wearing on my nails, it's gonna be from Zoya. And I highly recommend Leah because it just transforms anything you're wearing. Now, you guys wouldn't know it, but this was a very deep taupe color and it was a matte color. And when I got it on my nails, I was like, I don't like that. And I put Leah on top of it and I'm like, ooh, I got like a pinky taupe color now and I just love it. So that is one that I would really recommend. I oh. wanna talk just a second about three things that I didn't like this month. This one came across my feed, I think on Facebook or Instagram as a really good mascara. And this is the Cabaret Premier Artistic Volume Mascara. Nothing wrong with the wand or anything like that. It's just a typical plastic wand. It isn't like the wand was bad, but I could not get this to build. I'm in love with the Essence Lash Princess waterproof formula. It's what I wear every single day. This is my second tube. I am absolutely in love with this stuff, you guys. So it doesn't flake like the original formula did, I the green tube, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it to wear it all the time and wanted to mention that to you. But this cabaret was not that good and I would say if it comes across your feed to skip it. Also, a subscriber told me about the number 23 Perfect Cover BB Cream from Misha. If you guys, okay, this is the thing. I just told you how much I like a full coverage foundation. This is very, very light, very, very sheer. So if you like that, this is actually pretty good. And what is good about this particular color 23 is that it does have that very, very cool tone. But once I get it and I blended it in, it really didn't look ashy or anything on my skin. So I liked that, but it was too thin for me. It was not enough coverage for me. It felt really good on the skin. It felt hydrating in it. You know, it wore really well, but it didn't, you know, cover up anything for me. So it was a little bit of a disappointment for me in that, but this is only like eight or $9, you guys. And I would say that if you're a person that loves BB creams and you love that really lighter touch to your foundation or that lighter look to your foundation, this is good for you. Um, but if you're one that has to cover up a lot of things, it might not be. So it was a disappointment for me, but I've mentioned it because it might be really good for you. But I know that a lot of people, this is really working for, so I want to make sure that I mentioned it. it. It is a good and a bad. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. And then I was also recommended, not by a subscriber, but by somebody else, the Rocket Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. 
Um, again, this one was a lot like the cabaret. You know, there's nothing, you know, special about the wand except for it's a lot bigger. It is um, along the same lines of having a rubber wand instead of the bristle wand. I can't get this to build up. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. This is really not one of those that checks all the mascara boxes for me. So I'm going to um, tell you guys that that one didn't work for me. It was no good for me. You guys know that I am the drugstore queen. <laughs> so when I go into like Sephora and they're having their 20% off and I'm looking for something, I'm looking for something that I have been wanting to try because YouTubers have been talking about it. And they're really supposed to be good items that really have held up for people. So and I caved and I bought the Fenty Beauty um, glass balm and it is in diamond milk. And you guys, I love this stuff. I really do. I think it's great. It is just a kind of a topper. You can see how pretty it is and how much glow it does. And I'll just kind of tap some on right now. It goes over any lipstick so pretty. It doesn't alter the color of the lipstick, but at the same time, it definitely lasts a long time without being that sticky feeling. And it doesn't just disappear because it's too thin either. So love this stuff. And the smell is just, it's some sort of a fruity smell. It's almost like tutti fruity type smell, but not, I can't put my finger on it. If any of you guys can think about exactly what that smell is, I would like to know because I love it. Anyway, another thing I want to talk about that I've been loving, and this is funny because I've had this for quite some time, but I haven't been using it very much. And it is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Now, when you shake this up, you can hear that ball rolling around in there and shaking up those little particles. So you would think, well, maybe it's going to spray glitter or something on me. It doesn't, you guys. You spray it. And first of all, it's got the most fine mist that goes down on your face. The other thing is you guys are probably going to see that right away. Look at what it did to my skin. Everybody is talking about glass-like skin. This is going to give it to you. It really, truly is a spray that yeah. makes any makeup that you do just radiant and just beautiful without, you know, using any powders or any highlighters or anything like that. So I use this one actually after I use my setting spray, because even though it does say it's a setting spray, I don't feel like, I feel like it's so fine and I don't want to put too much on. So really have been enjoying that one. And then I talked about this one. I actually have talked and talked about this one, but why fix it when it ain't broke? This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills new eyeshadow primer. And you guys, this is the little tube. It's $13. I got it because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. And I'm going to be buying the big one next time, you guys. So, you know, but this one's going to last me forever because a teeny tiny bit goes a long way. This hugs your shadow like no other primer I've ever seen so far. And that's saying a lot because I have one from Elizabeth Mott that I love. And I also had one from Catrice that I loved. But this one has the ability to be opaque. So it takes out any of the discoloration that's on your lid for, you know, that perfect canvas to start your foundation. And it checks the box of, can you hold my eyeshadow on all day long? So love that stuff, you guys. And then lastly, I want to tell you guys about... Koki, I put this in what's new at the drugstore video, but they have these pretty, pretty new highlighters. And when you stick your finger in there, they are so buttery and they're so yummy. And I feel like they are almost a cream to powder product, even though it doesn't claim to be that. But again, look at the glass-like effect on there. It doesn't have even the tiniest bit of glitter in it. It doesn't look metallic. It just looks like glass on your skin, you guys. And I just think it's so pretty. I am wearing it today also as my highlighter just across my cheeks. So this one is in the color Heavenly. I also had Rosy, which has a pretty good rose tone to it. But this one is just, oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Hopefully you can see that come across the camera right there. They had a really light colored one that was more icy. And I they were out of that one. So I got this one too. And I really like it. So that's everything for today's video. I just wanted to show you what I was absolutely loving this month. I reached for over. Over and over again. What are you guys loving this month? Are there things that you've either picked up or you've gotten back out of your collection that you're absolutely loving? I would like to hear that from you guys. I always love to hear your recommendations. You guys give me such a good feedback and I appreciate that. Thank you so much for sharing a part of your day with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I love you much and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.